welcome to my vlog. Today we'll be visiting Montserrat and have lunch at the farmhouse. The tickets are from Get Your Guide, about 128 per pack. Let's continue. Um, as I was saying, it's going to take about 50 minutes to go to the train, then we're going to go up the mountain. It includes 7.5 hour guided visit of Montserrat, bilingual guide, transportation in a minibus to and fro Barcelona, and two course lunch at Masia Farmhouse with drinks. We are now on their rag railway and the tickets are included in the package. Honey, cheeses, sweets that they make, and you can try. The, there is a specialty, a specialty from the area called mato. No Mateo, <laughs> mato. Okay? It's a fresh cheese, like cottage, ricotta cheese, that we eat it with honey. Very low fat, don't worry, okay? Only. Don't feel guilty eating Only. it. It's two euros and you can try it's very healthy and really yummy, if you want to try that. Okay. Now, that is one of the things that you can do. Let's say you have cafeterias, you can walk around, there's a museum too, okay. Now, I'm going to tell you about this formation of the mountain. I told you about that they found the Virgin and they couldn't do something bigger, so they built the chapel in here 1,000 years ago and it's been with extensions. All what you're seeing is because of the Virgin, for example, all the transports. And in here you have one of the most amazing, made in 1918, that is that one over there. Okay. That is from 1918 and it's Swiss, so it's, don't worry, <laughs> it's not failing. So it's a funicular that I don't understand why they build, uh, they spend so much money in the best technology, but there are others all that you can find all over. And all of them are connected by different paths that maybe you can see, well, no, not now here, but... So the people with time in here come and they can walk from one chapel to another one and enjoy the nature with no hurry. Now, um, we are gonna go this way and I'm gonna be telling you about the, uh, well, now I'm gonna tell you about the formation of this mountain. Why do we have the shape of the mountain? This used to be a, a delta of a river 30 million years ago. The delta of a river is the end of the river. The river is down there, maybe you saw it before, and now the delta, you know what is it? By the airport of Barcelona, but it used to be here. And due to a movement of the tectonic plates, what they did is pushing up the sediments that they were underneath. So what you're watching are sediments, it's a conglomerate of pebbles of all type of stones together. It's not one type of rock, in there you don't have basalt, granite or marble, you have all type of rocks together. What it happens is that, because it's all little, uh, maybe you saw metal nettings trying to hold the stones, uh -huh. they keep falling and they keep changing the shape of the mountain throughout the centuries. If you, I mean, it's gonna be difficult for our eyes to see the difference, but throughout the history, keeps changing the shape of the mountain. It's also, because of that, it's very popular with climbers. It's easy to grab, but also easy to fall. So you have to be pay attention, okay? Uh, this is why we have uh, these mountains, and uh, the, it, it, all the pebbles they keep together like a, with a natural cement made of clay and limestone. Okay, and later maybe I don't know in here, but you will see the stones that there's all together little pebbles. There's no one type of stone. So let's keep walking this way, and I'll tell you more about the monastery and the history. This way, please. Remember all the cafeterias later. If you have.
the atrium. Okay, and in here we have, first of all, this area here is the sunny side. In here, in winter, it's really cold. Who can sleep there? The monks. This is the shady part. Who can sleep there? The pilgrims. <laughs> now, behind us, we have the, uh, the Renaissance facade. However, the original entrance to the first monastery 1,000 years ago is that one. Oh. That's the only thing we can see from the original entrance of the monastery 1,000 years ago. The rest is covered with the extension. This is the 16th century. This type of art, in Spain we call it plateresco. It's not Gothic, it's not Romanesque, it's not Renaissance, it's not Baroque, it's plateresco. Because in Spain, it took a lot of time for the Renaissance to settle down. It's a puzzle when you play too much Genshin, when you arrange the candles in this particular format, you get a chest. <laughs> This is the best garlic toast I have ever eaten in my entire life. So basically, you have to rub the garlic at the edges of the toast and spread the garlic paste. Squeeze the um, tomato, drizzle with some olive oil and sprinkle with some salt. It's really very delicious.
好像今天这场是准备来这边二十。他很少会吃这些松散啊这些嘛。Thank you so much for watching my vlog and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.